Hello, Asaikum. We were learning about the thoracic wall anatomy. We did sternum and ribs, and now we are proceeding to the joints of thoracic wall. We see first joint of thoracic wall that is mentioned in the Snell anatomy review. It is manibrosternal joint. Manibrosternal joint is between the manibrum of the sternum and the body of the sternum. This is manibrum of the sternum and this is body of the sternum. And both are attached with the secondary cartilaginous joint that is also called symphysis. These secondary cartilaginous joint or symphysis are found in the midline of our body. As you can see, this is symphysis menti. This is also a secondary cartilaginous joint that is found between two halves of the mandible. Two halves of the mandible are joined with a secondary cartilaginous joint that is called symphysis menti. Two halves of the pubic bone are joined with this secondary cartilaginous joint that is called sy pubic symphysis. So this secondary cartilaginous joint is found in the midline of our body and our manibro sternal joint is also a secondary cartilaginous joint. This is also in the midline of our body and it is also a symphysis. The bones are covered with the hyaline cartilage and are attached to each other with the fibrocartilaginous disc. You can see in this picture, this is fibrocartilaginous disc that is attaching both the bone manibrum, this is manibrum and body of sternum with the, each other, with each other. It offers very minimum anterior posterior movement during the respiration. It is all about manibrosternal joint and the next joint we will see is zephy sternal joint. Till then, the heart is.